Our out-of-this-world lead is way out of this world. 390 light years away, in fact. For context, one light year is equivalent to six trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself, seeking answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appeared to be older than the universe itself, raising more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe? Or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, an ancient star called HD 14283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Some 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 14283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend has it lived for 9,969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues and matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls like a wheel, slowing down from friction. Stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called geochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip, Flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology. It's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clock the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now, let's revisit Methuselah's star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a bit of a metalhead, belonging to population one stars. Methuselah's star, on the other hand, is like an old school rock star from population two, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's the stellar blink-out that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical population three, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand the stellar lineup, Let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Picture a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's basic ingredients. About 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population three stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, 
transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population two stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were laden with heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population one stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers, forming from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier population two stars. Now, the big question, does the stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah's star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 billion years old, aligning with the age of the entire universe. There's also a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rule book. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box, but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six. Statistically plausible, right? Regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah's star is not just a cosmic veteran. It's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about where Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st. Human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight born a few hundred million years post Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rander Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now fasten your seatbelts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with a concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over time. Scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere two billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear. The cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard, the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter. The elusive substance influences the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see, but that seems to play a gravitational tug of war in the cosmos. 
One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our cosmic detective, providing intricate details about the dance of nearly two billion stars in our Milky Way. Think of it as a galactic choreography lesson. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic choreography notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be taking it slow, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. Now, how do stars' speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's weight? It's like gauging the size of a crowd by how fast people are moving. Armed with Gaia's data, astronomers estimated the combined weight of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion times our sun. It sounds like a cosmic heavyweight, but here's the twist. It's about five times less than we thought. One theory to untangle this cosmic riddle suggests we might have been a bit heavy-handed with our dark matter estimates. Maybe, just maybe, there's less dark matter out there than we previously assumed. It's like finding out there are fewer ingredients in your cosmic soup than you thought. But hold on, weighing a galaxy is like nailing jelly to a wall. It's notoriously tricky. The data might have a few quirks, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, multiple research teams have joined the celestial investigation, and they all seem to be humming the same cosmic tune. If this cosmic revelation holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our cosmic physics textbook. A revolution that might make us rethink not just our own Milky Way, but every star-studded corner of the universe. As Stacy McCarr, an astronomer at Case Western Reserve University, puts it, this could be a cosmic game-changer. Take a cosmic journey back to the 1970s when astronomer Vera Rubin and her cosmic crew set out on a stellar adventure. Their mission was to study how stars groove in other galaxies. The cosmic playbook suggested that stars on the outskirts of a galaxy should be cosmic slowpokes compared to the zippy stars near the center, like how Neptune takes its sweet time circling the sun while Mercury is the cosmic speedster. Here's where the plot twists. Rubin and her stargazing squad uncovered a cosmic surprise, Stars at the far reaches of galaxies were strutting their stuff at nearly the same speed as the ones closer to the cosmic dance floor. Imagine a galactic disco where everyone, no matter where they are, is moving to the same beat. This cosmic revelation hinted at the existence of something mysterious and hidden, dark matter, the invisible heavyweight champion that forms massive halos around galaxies. Think about early astronomers like Copernicus and Kepler. We've learned a lot since then, but we're still the newcomers, staring wide-eyed at cosmic wonders, trying to solve the universe's secrets. Our Earth is like a tiny island in the vast sea of space, swirling around the sun with a bunch of stars in our little galaxy. Our quest for meaning among the stars is the core of scientific exploration. Even when answers surprise us, this curiosity keeps us journeying into the cosmos. It's an endless adventure where every answer brings new questions, ensuring our cosmic exploration never stops. The universe continues to astonish us with its vastness and complexity. Each discovery leads us deeper into the intricate tapestry of cosmic history, revealing the fundamental laws that govern our reality. Recent studies have shown that galaxies are not merely isolated entities, but are interconnected through an intricate web of dark matter and gravitational forces. This understanding prompts us to reconsider our models of galaxy formation and evolution. One of the most intriguing aspects of cosmic exploration is the concept of gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by some of the most violent events in the universe, such as merging black holes or neutron stars. Detected for the first time in 2015, these waves offer a new way of observing the universe, providing insights that traditional telescopes cannot. They open a window into phenomena that are invisible to electromagnetic radiation, allowing astronomers to piece together events from the early universe and enhance our understanding of the fundamental forces at play. Furthermore, researchers are also investigating exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. The discovery of potentially habitable worlds raises profound questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Techniques like transit photometry and radial velocity measurements help identify these distant planets, 
revealing a diversity of planetary systems that challenge our preconceived notions of how solar systems should form. Some of these exoplanets reside in their star's habitable zone, where conditions may be right for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. As we probe deeper into the cosmos, the role of artificial intelligence in analyzing vast amounts of data becomes increasingly significant. AI algorithms can identify patterns and anomalies in stellar light curves, leading to the discovery of new celestial bodies and phenomena at a pace previously unimaginable. This partnership between human intuition and machine learning propels us into an era of unprecedented cosmic understanding.